Hi, so quick disclosure. Uh, in the beginning of the video, I say that this case is $40. It's actually not. It's actually $70. I catch myself later in the video, uh, but that is a mistake. It is a $70 case, not a $40 case. I was thinking of a different video, um, so I just wanted to be upfront with that. All right, um, enjoy the program. All right, so I just got a new case, and we're going to do an unboxing of it today. So this is the Montec Air 100 Light Edition, and uh, let's get it out of the box and we'll show y'all all about it. Alright, so uh, starting off here, this case is a micro ATX form factor, so it will only fit micro ATX boards. Um, it is a micro ATX slim form factor, and what that means is that uh, it is not suitable in most cases for water cooling. You will not be able, at least custom water cooling, you will not be able to fit a pump in here anywhere. Um, you might be able to get away with an AIO up top. Not on the side, there does not look to be enough clearance. But up top, you could probably squeeze in an AIO if you wanted to. Uh, there is enough ventilation up here for it, um, but it is not intended for water cooling. It's more of a, uh, a lower power minded case, so. Um, let's go ahead and open it up here. Um, this door operates on a hinge, so it's not screw on. You actually get to open it up and it just stays that way. I believe it is removable. Yeah, you just slide it off, it comes off just like that. Nice and simple, I like that. Uh, that is tempered glass, by the way. That is not acrylic. It is full on tempered glass. So in here we have the manual, and this comes with a magnetic removable dust filter. Um, there is not an indentation on the top, so I don't think it goes up here. I think it's actually meant for the bottom. No, that's that's just a, a single uh, 120 millimeter fan slot, and that already has a dust cover. Um, so I'm actually kind of confused at where this is meant to go. I suppose you could put it up top. Let me see here. Uh, yeah, I mean, I suppose that's usable. It's just when most cases that come with these removable filters on top, there's usually like an indent so that it'll fit kind of flush with the top, but this does not have that. So, uh, kind of weird there, but oh well. Uh, obviously you have your construction manual. Um, this case comes with two fans. Uh, you get a white 120 millimeter fan in the front. And of course, in the back rear exhaust, you get another 120 millimeter white fan. They are not LEDs, obviously. Um, this case, oh, I, I, one one thing I wanted to mention: this case cost after tax. It was forty-six dollars, so it's about a forty-dollar case. And I, I just wanted to kind of take a moment at how awesome budget cases have become, because we have a, a power supply shroud, which is becoming more and more popular, and I like that. In the front, Gamers Nexus would like this. You have a, a whole grill, so that's great for your airflow. Um, we have two included fans, obviously it's fantastic. Um, so I just kind of, uh, fil removable filter at the bottom. You know, there's just a lot of quality of life things that it used to be, you know, with budget oriented cases, you could not take them for granted. Um, and it's really nice to see that we are coming a long way in terms of budget cases. Uh, I kind of just accidentally did this, but um, the front panel just pops off. It actually, it's just held in there, I think just magnetically. It just pop came off on its own. That's funny. Uh, yeah, down here there are these little grooves and you just kind of, you, you put these, put the, the um, these little tabs, they go into these little grooves at the bottom Gotta be kind of careful here. And then you just do that and it goes into the hole and it's magnetic and it just stays there. How awesome is that? If you wanna get in here and put, you could probably fit an AIO in the front actually, or you wanna add some more fans. How easy is that? That's pretty awesome. Again, just these little things that, you know, that make it just so much easier to build in a case. And, you know, it used to be that, I know I'm gushing, but you know, it's kind of amazing how you know, these are things that used to be a luxury, but now these are being afforded to everyone who, you know, wants them, these features. 
<clears throat> um, looking at the back, obviously we have our um, cutout for our IO shield. We have, uh, these are all thumb screws, which is good for maintenance. Uh, the one thing here that I kind of don't like is that these uh, PCI Express brackets, these are cut out, so they're not removable. Once you pop them out of here to make way for a graphics card, they're going to stay out forever. You cannot put them back in. Um, some people will have a problem with that. Personally, I don't really care. It's just a thing where it's kind of easier on the manufacturing process. It's how they can get, make this a lot cheaper, is just to have one whole piece of metal rather than having to cut these out and put fake ones back in, or, or removable ones back in, I should say. Um, underneath here, well, we'll get the back panel off. How about that? Uh, again, these are thumb screws. They're really easy to just twist off. Also, kudos to making the thumb screws uh, white to match the rest of the case. I really like that. I went with the white edition just because I think it looks a lot cleaner. Matches my IKEA desk. Um, also, I should mention that this case, I will be putting in my, my own personal rig. I got a few updated parts this Christmas, and my personal rig will be going in here. I'll be able to, I'll be able to, I'll, yeah, be sure to film that video and show y'all all about it. So, uh, stay tuned, get subscribed so you don't miss that because it's going to be really, really exciting. Get Finally going to get some, some new parts in here. Alright, so in the back, let's take a look at the back. So we have a bracket for a 2.5 inch SSD. We have two of those, so you could put two 2.5 inch SSDs in here. And then we also have a, a cage back here for hard drives. Now this sled is removable and I've noticed that uh, right here we have our bag of accessories. I've always noticed the manufacturers for multiple cases, I've seen this with Corsair, with NZXT, Fantex, and now Montec, they all put the accessory box or accessory bag in the hard drive cages down here. They always put them there. Um, I'm not sure why, but that's interesting. So uh, about this hard drive cage, uh, you put one in the sled, obviously, but then also up top, I don't know if you can see, but there are little holes up top. This whole cage can come out because you have screws in the bottom. This whole cage comes out and you put another hard drive up top. So you can put two uh, three and a half inch hard drives in here if you want. Uh, obviously we have space for a full size power supply. Um, it's, a, it's micro ATX, so you're not gonna probably be putting anything too crazy in here. Um, there is what I would call decent amount of room for cable management. What I like is up here, you have this little pathway up the back of the case to route your cables. And then you also get some included zip ties, which you can use to run through the holes and tie your cables down. That's nice. You got Velcro keeping your uh, IO cables in place. Uh, we have your standard um, front panel connectors. You do get USB 3.0. Um, we have front USB, all that good, all, all that good stuff, standard stuff. Um, this is the fan connector. Interesting, a white fan. You'd think they'd have white cables, but the, the white fan has black cables. Um, also, here again, just another, uh, I glossed over this, another quality of life thing that you used to only find in high-end cases. We have these rubber grommets you can feed your power supply cables through. I mean, it's a 45 $40 case on Newegg. It's pretty incredible that you can get it for that much money. Oh wait, no, I'm sorry. I was wrong. This one is a $70 case. My bad. This was a $70 case. Um, I'm thinking of another case that I ordered that I'll also be doing a review on. I'm sorry. Uh, so so yeah, you are getting what you pay for. $70, you do get a lot of, of nice features. Um, my, my mistake. I misspoke. But uh, yeah. Um, so other than that, I'm trying to think, what else do I need to mention here? Oh yes, up top. Uh, so like I said before, we have room for, you could do a 240 mil AIO, you could do two 120 millimeter fans up top, um, and then you have power, I assume that's reset, it does not say. Uh, two USB 3.0s, that's great. A USB 2.0 headphone, microphone, that's great. Um, interesting placement of it on the side. That's kind of unusual, but hey, what the heck. So, yeah, um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, I, honestly, I really love the look of this thing. So, 
I got this off of Newegg.com for $70. Sorry, I misspoke. It's not $40, $45. It is $70. I'm thinking of a case I will I'll do a review on later. Um, but yeah, so that is my review of the Montec Air 100 Light Edition. Please stay tuned. Like I said, we will be putting my own personal rig uh, into this case once I get the rest of the parts in. So be sure to stay tuned for that. That'll be very exciting. Uh, other than that, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.